great over there cause I know prayer changes things I know prayer changes things oh no matter what you were going through remember that God will take care of you good morning good afternoon good evening my illustrious family I want to welcome you to the mental house first of all with me your host Khadija and I know all eyes today um, and hearts are um, sending prayers up for Damar Hamlin, who had a heart attack basically on the field, and he's listed in critical condition, y'all. It's just, you know, <sighs> mm, mm, I, it's just so much. It's just so many people, so many people just dropping, just dropping. Um, and, he, and he basically fell out in the game. In the live game. Oh, God. Uh, his, he collapsed. Wow. Let me just uh, go to the Daily Mail. And uh, they got an article. Uh, fans from both the Bills and the Bengals gathered outside the hospital last night. Where Hamlin is receiving care to pray together. For his recovery. While the prayers and tributes have been flooded in for Hamlin, some chose to pay their respects in a different way. As tributes and messages of support come through. Man, this is really, it's really, um, you know, it's, it's, it's bad when you see something like this. I, I, it reminds me of, What's his name? Uh, Daryl Stingley. Right there. And, uh, and you watched him actually um, become paralyzed right there on the field. So I don't know if I'm going back too far for a lot of y'all. So Daryl Stingley, look him up. He was a wide receiver for you now. Anyway, uh, the tributes and messages of support have flooded in for Hamlin. Uh, there's a GoFundMe that he started over two years ago. Um, and that's, of course, have an incredible boost because people are just donating. And his charity was for children. And, and uh, this is so sad. He's in critical condition. Uh, one of the first people providing updates last night was Jordan Rooney, DeMar Hamlin's marketing representative and business partner he tweeted out overnight to confirm that the players vitals are back to normal and that this morning was a good uh was a morning was a guest on good morning america i guess to talk about it, where he said you know i can't speak specifically on his medical condition but i will say he's fighting he's a fighter i needed to provide some clarity he was awake at that time now he is sedated. The family is in good spirits. We're just taking it minute by minute, hour by hour. His family is strong and supportive. Obviously, they are worried. DeMar is very close with his family. Um, I know DeMar because I run a sports marketing agency, and he reached out to me to be an intern for me, and that's it's pretty unique. He intended for me, uh, and we became super close partners in business together. We collaborate on a lot of things. There's definitely been a lot of fans at the hospital and a lot of traction, people coming by. But what's more important, you know, because that's what people do, you know, and they don't know how to do anything else, basically. Because, you know, you can 
you can feel the love from right where you are. You know, but people like to make a showing, and uh, you know, and I'm not disrespecting nobody, you know, one way or the other. But everybody likes to run to the, so maybe it's the audience that likes to gather together, because it, really, when you think about it, there's nothing you can do for the person, and the family don't want everybody. I know I didn't up and around them because hell, half of them you don't know, and they all they gonna say is the same thing. You know, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Or you watch. And all that's, you know, not something that I personally can stand, you know, really. So, while I appreciate your concern and I appreciate you loving my loved one, I don't need to have 5,000 of y'all trying to jam the um, emergency room. It's, you know, nobody can't get nothing done for him or probably nobody else. Anyway, let me take it off of there because I don't want y'all to go wrong with this. But it's the truth. Um, it's like, uh, he said, what's most important? Like I said, is he really wants to give the family their privacy. A lot of times you don't view athletes as human. You know, you watch them on TV. And this is important to remember that this is a person and the family wants some privacy. You know? As it stands, Hamley remains in critical condition after being transported via ambulance to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center shortly before 10 last night. His family were at the game when he collapsed, and his mother, Nina, traveled to him to the hospital, it was reported at the time. The latest update we have had from the Bills was he suffered a cardiac arrest following a hit in our game versus the Bengals. His heartbeat was restored on the field, and he was transferred to the UC Medical Center for further testing and treatment. He is currently sedated and is listed in critical condition. Y'all can't tell me football ain't a rough game. You know, I'm going to have a coach, a little league coach, actually, uh, uh, that works with children, um, teaching them this game. Is he, he himself was a football player. And, um, you know, I think not only that, uh, a brother named Earl, a lot of these times they take these kids off the street and just try to teach them, you know, camaraderie, teach them sportsmanship, teach them all the valuable things that sports offer. Um, but then you got some sports just like, you know, Anytime a man dedicates himself to something, he's found his purpose. And um, you can't say how it's going to end. So, uh, champion, I mean, these things build character, sports, being disciplined to follow a discipline. Those things breed character inside the individual. Um, and... So you encourage that. But with football, you know, given the CTE, given the, uh, the paralyzation rates. But this right here, I've never heard of nobody having a cardiac arrest on the field. But there is a lot of injuries that go into football. Stuff that we don't hear once the lights turn off and those guys go home. How they get up pissing blood and all types of stuff that... Of course, nobody's going to share with you. So right now, my heart and my prayers go out to the Buffalo Bill star that's in a critical condition. His name is DeMar Hamlin. I got friends up there in Buffalo. And um, they love this guy. Shoot, they love their teams, period. Nothing up, nothing up there but a bunch of snow. I mean, but my heart and prayers go out to the family. And I hope um, he gets well. I don't even care if he will ever play a football again. And it's my desire that he don't. But I just hope God or the higher power or creation or whatever you believe pulls him through. Because he's so young. So young. So I don't know what, you know, 
Anyway, y'all leave y'all comments. Those of y'all who are familiar with this uh, receiver. Uh, safety, I mean. And, um, you know, maybe you heard of somebody falling out on uh, the field. Because I haven't. But I'm praying for his strength in life. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.